Hi everyone! Today I'm reviewing a 16 string lyre harp in beautiful deer head design. Aklot, the manufacturer of this instrument, is kind enough to send it to me. So thank you Aklot! In this video, I'm going to show you the quality of this lyre harp, what it sounds like, and what accessories come with it. Let's take everything out. The lyre is made of mahogany, it is orangey brown, you can see its color compared to my other lyre which is also made of mahogany. This one has a different feel to it because of the lighter color of the wood. The lyre has a smooth matte finish, you can tell it doesn't reflect light as much as my other one does. The lyre is designed such that it has a huge cutout, so if you play with both hands, you can access all the strings from both the front and the back. This lyre uses 16 steel strings. The names of the notes are carved on the wood, ranging from the lowest G to the highest A, so you get a nice range of 2 octaves plus 1 extra. I really like the design of the antlers and I like how smooth they are. The pegs are steady and straight. A few of them are taller than the others, but it's okay as long as they are straight. So far, they all look straight to me. This lie is hollow. You can see how thick the wood is from this angle. There is a rosette around the sound hole and an Aklot logo inside. And panning down, we see the bridge. I was worried that the bridge might have pointy edges, but they are filed down and they're smooth to the touch. I don't know how the bridge is attached to the lyre, maybe it's glued, I don't know, but it feels solid. The metal rings at the bottom of the lyre protect the wood from being cut open by the tension of the strings. This is the back of the lyre harp with the drill holes. One thing I notice about the strings is that they are not evenly spaced. What I do is to make adjustments at the bridge. For example, these two strings are wider apart. What I do is I pick up a string and move it just a little to make them as evenly spaced as possible. Please only do this when the strings are loose. If it's a new lyre, do this before you tune it. After the adjustment, the strings are still spaced further apart in the middle and closer together at the sides, especially between the highest A string and G string, but they're more even now. Before we test out the sound, let's take a quick look at the accessories. You have a bag that fits the lyre well, it's a velvety material on the outside and the inside looks like this. It's a drawstring bag that keeps out the dust, but it doesn't protect the lyre from pressure. There is a set of spare strings. Each string has a number that corresponds to its position on the lyre. And a tuning wrench to adjust the pitch. And the pickup that helps you amplify your music if you connect it to an amplifier. This is the pickup with volume control. A cord that connects the pickup to an amplifier. An amplifier is not included. These stickers are for you to stick the pickup onto the lyre. This is what the lyre sounds like before it is tuned. I'm just recording with my phone. This is what it sounds like after it is tuned.
Overall, I think this Lyre harp is beautiful. The color, the finish, and the antler design are amazing, and the sound is clear, loud, and sweet. That's after taking the time to tune it. As with other Lyre harps, it's common that they don't stay in tune at first. You need to give it a week's time for the strings to stay in tune. I know I will need some time getting used to the different spacings of the strings, but it is something I believe I can overcome. So that's all for this review video. Thank you for watching.